compromise of the bony anatomy, as seen here in the ascetic zone of the anterior maxilla, can significantly compromise the ascetic outcome of prosthetic replacement of missing dentition. Both in quantity of bone available for implant supported restoration and also the contour for the ascetic outcome. Traditional exodontia instruments such as forceps and elevators were not designed with bone preservation as one of their primary objectives. Indeed, many of these instruments being designed before the advent of local anesthetic focused primarily on the ability of the dental surgeon to quickly remove teeth due to the discomfort caused to the patient. Bone preservation was not an objective. On this cadaveric specimen, we will remove the 2-1 and 1-1 teeth utilising the various surge instruments. We will then raise a mucosal flap to demonstrate the amount of bony contour which can be preserved by utilising these instruments. We will be using the SG-17 blade this also comes in a left and right variant. Here we can see the instrument is inserted into the periodontal membrane space and gently pistoned up and down, maintaining the blade parallel at all times with the root surface. The blade is moved gently along the periodontal membrane space so as not to concentrate heat in the area and gently severing the connection of the periodontal membrane in the cementum layer. Once the labial is completed, the palatal uh, is carried out and likewise with the interproximal uh, connections until we're satisfied that there has been sufficient disruption of the membrane to be able to remove the tooth without trauma to the surrounding bone. Here you can see that the bony contour has been preserved intact and although obviously not something that would be done clinically, we have raised the mucosal flap here to demonstrate the bone by direct observation. On this uh, animation we demonstrate how we've removed the labial plate over the lateral incisor of the cadaveric specimen using the saw blade on the various surge instrument down to the surface of the lateral incisor root. Obviously, again, this is not a clinical procedure, but carried out on the anatomic specimen for demonstration purposes. The reason we've done this is to demonstrate the periodontal membrane space and the application of the piezotome instrument uh, correctly in the periodontal space. It is important for the correct removal of the tooth with minimum damage to the surrounding bone that the instrument is maintained at all times parallel to the root surface, angling towards the apex of the root in all 360 degrees circumference of the tooth.